Good morning. I am doing your Oracle spread today. We're just doing an overall energy check and Oracle for January 4th. But anytime you find yourself listening to these messages, that is divine timing for you. I'm going to look through these Oracle cards and then I'm going to do some tarot at the end. But I've got some really interesting cards that came out today. We have mouse, mice, and mouse spirit. All three of them came out and squirrel. So we've got all of these little rodents, but mice and the mouse archetype is all about details, getting into the nitty gritty of the details. And with enthusiasm right next to all of these mice, part of this has to do with being anxious, having anxiety. So for some of you, anxiety might be coming forward for you, and this is something to be aware of. And I will get to that in a moment here. But this is, I keep saying that this is a rehab year because I feel like everyone is building back their strength from atrophied times, times where we were, we let go of certain aspects of ourselves, whether it was physical or whether it was psychic, whether it was skills that we weren't using for a time, things kind of laid dormant for a while. And now we're building back up. We're building our strength back up in certain areas of our life. And I feel like these mice are, are telling us that they can create anxiety if we want everything to happen in 24 hours. We have to take it slow and build it back up. So that is part of this mouse wisdom here. Looking into the details, I also have the devil card over here. So it reminds me, the devil card is reversed. For me, that is releasing themes and patterns that don't serve you. So I do feel like we're in a place where that's exactly what we're doing. We're realizing themes and patterns. We have an awakened awareness. So we are aware of these themes and patterns that aren't serving us in order to release them. The sieve is about cultivating everything that you have grown, that you have collected and cutting your losses. It's about cutting things off. It's about the end of a cycle. And I feel like being aware of what truth has come to a full circle or a full cycle is important right now. I feel like someone has expectations. Here's the expectation card. Someone has expectations of you. They're expecting you to be doing something, to be coming back into the cycle or to be doing something that you have moved on from. And you've moved on from it. You're releasing it. You've seen it. You know what it is. So someone's kind of trying to keep you back in the old ways of doing things. And you are on a momentum of going forward and leaving that in the dust, so to speak. I also want to say about this devil card, the truth, the devil is in the details. The truth is in the details. It's almost like if you can look back at particular moments, conversations, instances, you have all of the details that you need, and you really have seen everything that you've needed to see. I want to look at Gnosis Queen and the Eternal Child. The Queen is all about inspiring other people or taking everybody out. And what you exude is what's going to affect all of the energy around you. And even this Queen, this looks like a big iris. And here is an eye. There's so much about having knowingness and gnosis. This looks like a big eye to me too. Gnosis is about having knowingness. It's about having wisdom through experience. There's some kind of enthusiasm for this too. This enthusiasm or excitement or inspiration from your own understanding of the world and seeing it as divine your own knowingness, your own experience, recognizing your own wisdom and that you don't have to get that from outside of yourself. Squirrel spirit is all about believing yourself. It's all about doing things for yourself. 
And instead of thinking, oh, can I do this? Can I not do this? It's like just getting in the boat and going. It's just doing it. It's not thinking about it. It's just acting. And then here we have thoughts. So with this thoughts card, I feel like, first of all, your thoughts are super important. How you talk to yourself and what you're thinking about is super important right now. But also I feel like someone else's thoughts might be intrusive Someone else's expectations might be intrusive right now. So just be aware of your energy management. And I want to look at a couple of tarot and see what's going on here. What other energies want to come out? I have Chiastolite out here also and Smoky Quartz. Those are the two that kind of caught my attention this morning. So it's interesting the cards that came out. So those are all about space clearing and energetic Bring yourself of others' energy. Here's the five of cups reversed. This is all about, first of all, having no fear. That came up too. There's a lot of energy around being controlled by fear and releasing that control. But the five of cups reversed is about not having any kind of grief or regret about the past, about your experiences because they brought you wisdom, but also somebody wants to hold you down or hold you in some kind of grief or control. And this is like, no, not today. Okay. So here's the death card, but it's reversed. So this is a transition that hasn't come full circle. So somebody's definitely trying to keep you in a cycle. And this is a cycle that seems like you are ending. So Here's the wheel of fortune reversed. Somebody, okay, so this is divine timing. So uh, it's like, I have no regrets about the past. And it looks like you're trying to move through it. Somebody's trying to kind of, like they're not ready for the cycle to be over yet, but something didn't come into play or come into place or gel or form. And it's time to kind of get back in a different stream of consciousness and forward movement. And I almost hear like, let bygones be bygones. Here's the strength card reversed. Someone's talking about not feeling strong without you. So someone's really tugging at your heartstrings, but also tugging at your energy. And it might feel draining. Here is instigation. Here's the Prince of Wands or the Knight of Wands. This is having a burst of energy basically to get you like to jump you on another timeline. That's what it is. It's like to get you going and jumping on another timeline. It's to get you out of one boat and to get you into another boat. And here we have temperance. Finally, here's some balance. Here's some healing. Here's some getting back on track and it's back on your own track. It feels like you jumped into someone else's timeline for a bit. Maybe you shared the timeline, but for whatever reason, there's been a fork in the road and the energy is different now. And with your knowingness and your understanding of how you're being trained and how you need to move forward, that is what's going to carry you. Hmm. So that's what I have for you today for Oracle. Thank you for being here and I will see you in your next one. Bye.